Pixel Kid. Hey, Courtney. Yeah. Someone on the internet says Shigeru Miyamoto is going to be president of Nintendo. No. Welcome to the issue episode two, where we're going to talk about why Shigeru Miyamoto is not going to permanently be the CEO of Nintendo. We don't know for sure what's going to happen. This is all wild and crazy speculation, but uh, I am HO. It is not going to be either one of these guys. Miyamoto is the number one most famous person at Nintendo. He invented Mario, who is the most popular video game character of all time. Never and heard of him. He's appeared in over 200 video games. And it's just insanely popular. He invented all these other great series too, including, like you said, Zelda and Star Fox and Pikmin and Donkey Kong. And me to the moon. Let me play. But he's never going to be president. And here's why. Shigeru Miyamoto is an artist. When you're looking to hire a new president for a $22.2 billion corporation, you don't usually pick an artist. Satoru Iwata was fantastic because he had this great artistry in him. He designed games, he had experience with games, but he also was really down to earth and practical and understood business and money. I'm sure Miyamoto understands business. You know, he has to have some sort of business acumen in order to pitch games that he knows will work. But trying ultimately to, he's invested in making those games rather than selling the Nintendo brand to people. He's like Nintendo's lovable but crazy uncle. <laughs> and you know, he's part of the family, but you don't hand him control of you just make a lot of money off of his ideas yeah is that he, is that how this metaphor is going so the, the other <laughs> big argument that we have that it's not going to be miyamoto is that miyamoto has been famous for a long time and when iwata became president in 2002 miyamoto was not given the position I think that they're not going to give it to him again for the same reason. So Genyo Takeda is the other guy who's temporarily serving as president of Nintendo right now in this intermediate time. And he's also been with Nintendo actually even longer than Miyamoto. He was Nintendo's very first ever game designer, uh, but wow. mostly he's worked in R&D, like research and development, designing consoles. So he invented the battery powered memory that went in cartridges that made it possible for you to save your game on like Ocarina of Time. And he also <laughs> invented the joystick on the N64 controller. He's been deeply involved with more of the, the console manufacturing end. He was a big player on the Wii. I also don't think he's going to be president because like Miyamoto, he's in his 60s and I just, I really feel like they're going to want to stick with someone who's sort of young and fresh. Someone who can bring in <laughs> the perspective, but still deeply understands yes, the situation. Yes, someone who's been with the company for a long time and is part of that ecosystem. I think it's going to be Satoru Shibata. Shibata is the president of Nintendo of Europe, and ah. he has been there for about, I think, since 2000, 15 years. So he's well in tune with Nintendo, but he hasn't been there for like 40 years like these other guys. <laughs> uh, he's younger. He's about, he's in his early 50s, I think. So he could stay yeah. for many decades. They've had four CEOs total, right? Yeah, and the company is okay. like 128 years old. So Shibata is adorable. He's young and cute and he's really shy. Um, he does not like to be on camera much, but in the last few years during the Nintendo Direct presentations, he has been getting a, a reputation over there because he's been hosting a bunch of these. In the same way that we get Reggie fils over here, they have Shibata. He has an attitude that feels really reminiscent to Iwata's in that he's playful, he cares about games, there's, there's a bunch of cute little videos of him, like there's one of him imitating Professor Layton with this hair all slick back, but he also is a little quiet and he, you can tell he, he's got his feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to put my money on him for being the next right. president. You're not throwing your own hat in the ring? You're not going to run for president, CEO of Nintendo, Courtney? Well, unfortunately, like Reggie fils -Aimee, I'm not Japanese. <laughs> that's going to work against both of us. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of The Issue. Who do you think is going to be the next CEO of Nintendo? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to this channel so you can catch the next episode. Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars